Okay, this is Dr. Krause with another losing battle against Windows. Uh, we'll see how this goes. I want to create a quick video showing you how to create an environment variable in Windows and how to install a package um, using the conda command line option. So first of all, I don't know how you do this in Windows 7. I assume it's similar, but I'm going to search for edit environment variables if I can type correctly. I can't type correctly. So the auto completion was actually correct. Um, I want to go here and I want to add a new environment variable. It's very important that it's called Python path. That should be all one word, no spaces, and it should probably be all caps, although I don't know if that matters for sure. And the value of that should be the folder that you want uh, to be set. So that should be something like C colon slash and I don't type it in, That's you're likely to screw that up. So let's go back to the desktop and just browse to that folder. Um, so there it is. My username is 454. So on this computer, it is C colon slash user slash 454 slash Python module. I'm gonna copy that. And then I'm gonna switch back over to this window and paste that as my variable name and hit okay. Now, how do I know if that works? Um, that works if I can launch IPython and see that file folder in my system path. So if I said import sys and then I said sys.path, sys.path is the list of folders that Python is going to search when it's trying to find modules. So you'll see this like third one down. Let's talk through this just a second. Um, secretly, stop doing that. Um, turn on the quick edit mode. And, um, so the first option is always uh, nothing, which means the current folder that you're working in. And then there's this C colon anaconda scripts, which is something they install. And now the third option down should be my folder that I just added. Now, if I wanted to add more than one folder, they just need to be in that same environment variable, the Python path environment, separated by semicolons. And so if you see this in your list, then you've correctly put Python modules in your system path. Now, if I said import serial underscore utils, which is in that folder, that should work because it's looking in the correct place, except that we have not yet installed the serial module. So that's what we're going to do in Anaconda. So now I need to come over here and launch PowerShell. And I need to type Conda install PySerial. Now this is the second time I'm running this because I had to make multiple versions of this video. So yours is going to have a list of other stuff. It's going to want to update Anaconda and do some other things. Just hit enter to accept the defaults, which is going to be to install it. Yours will take a, you know, 30 seconds to a couple minutes to update everything that it's trying to update. And when you're done, you should see that it installed and linked the pack package and says that it's complete. We know that that worked. If we flip over to, um, the IPython window and type import series and now it doesn't complain and if you ever want to know where did I get that from you type reload after you've imported it and put parentheses around it and it'll tell you where it came from and so it imported the pi serial or serial utils module from here now we could also say import serial which is the name of the pi serial module once it's installed and you can verify that that is also working so we Saved the serial utils uh, module in a folder that we're going to put other modules in in the future, possibly. We installed this, we added that folder to the Python path, which is then called sys.path inside Python. And we used the PowerShell in Windows to install um, Anaconda's PySerial. So Anaconda, yeah, PySerial in Anaconda. So if you didn't see that, I just searched over here for PowerShell to launch that. Okay, let me know if you have any questions.